As a race car driver, it's so hard to portray what really is happening inside well, that, the car and, and put it into, you know, yeah. onto a screen and it's, let people feel that. It's really true. And, and uh, this is us. We're going to no. go here. One of the unique things about F1 versus NASCAR, you'll see. So that's one of our competitors. He's right there. There's right. no walls wow. in between us. It's it's and the NASCAR does it kind of purposely. Wow. Where in F1, everything's so private and, yes. and, and kept to themselves. Where right here. You know, if that team looks at us and sees something or we see something, we can learn from one another and, and sometimes tell on one another yeah, as yeah. well. I got to take a picture of this and email this to Hanks. This is the kind of thing that he gets a big kick oh, out of. Oh, there you go. He and I share that. The unique thing about racing that I see, it's man and machine. Yeah. And it's hard to tell that story of a guy in a helmet not being able to see his face, yeah. you know, of what he's thinking, what he's going through, how to show those emotions, yet it is as intense as it can possibly get. This is the thing that you just said, a man and machine, that I don't think I really appreciated the dynamics of that. And in fact, it makes it such an incredibly cool contemporary sport for, you know, for modern fans to follow because it, it encompasses sort of everything kind of exciting about modern life, the, the technology, but it still boils down to that sort of that human element. The race runs long run. Yeah. Yeah. Run you guys work together. You got a track bar adjustment. Sort of a waste to find machinery to put me behind the wheel of that. No, uh, come on now. Beautiful looking car. Yeah. So obviously you got, you know, a six speed. Right. You know, this is about the speed that, that you're yeah. going to have to maintain and run and they'll walk you through tomorrow. But luckily, you're not having to do that today. So <laughs> I see. I'm actually going to roll my window up. You know, it's going to get a little windy here. Okay. So what's interesting, what I notice is the uh, um, neophyte that I am is you're driving with one hand, calmly explaining, <laughs> and going about a little over 100 miles an hour around the turn. Well, this is a big track. It can handle a lot of speed. So, uh, and then luckily we got a car that sticks pretty good as well. So, uh, if, if we were inside my race car, it might not be quite the same yeah. thing. I, I, I'd wait till we at least got to, you know, 160, 170 before I put my hand on the wheel. Want to give it a try? Yeah, sure. All right. of this festival of the speed. That Chevrolet Corvette pace car pulls onto the pit road. And the Brickyard 400 is underway in Indianapolis. Another thing out of the bucket list. All right. Beautiful. Thanks a lot. That was a thrill. Cars moving around there, zooming up, revving. You say, just stay where you are. You're fine. Just tap me a little bit, somebody give me a little pop. Okay, my work here is done. <laughs> Great job. Tom Cruise, my buddies, and we did.
did that Days of Thunder movie yeah. way back when. Yeah, yeah, he's a good guy. I worked with him right after that on Far and Away. Yeah. And I, and I, right. I've kind of lost track of him, but whenever we see each other, we pick right up where we like, yeah. he's a big yeah. guy. Jeff Gordon giving up the lead. He's coming to pit road. And one. No chassis adjustment here. Just four fresh tires and Sonoma.